Good morning. Welcome to Mom's Trini Cooking. Today I'm going to be making a yummy snack from Trinidad, Polori. If you want to see how I do it, keep looking. Today for this recipe, we will be using four cups of white flour, half of cup, half a cup of grind dal flour or split peas flour, one teaspoon of yeast, one tablespoon of oil, half a teaspoon of saffron powder, three quarter tablespoon of bacon powder, one teaspoon of salt, four cloves of garlic, one hot pepper, and to start with a cup of warm water. You may need a little bit more, but for now, just one cup. Now we're gonna be mixing all the dry ingredients together in the flour. Oil is for the last. When I'm finished with everything, then we're going to use the oil and I'll crush the garlic and hot pepper after. So we just mix everything here like this now. That's it. So now we're going to be grinding the, the garlic and the hot pepper. And if you want, you can use the stone. I got this at Maracas Beach in Trinidad and I love using it for this one. You cut the pepper up. I'm gonna put a whole pepper because we love a lot of seasoning in the stuff. This is optional too. If someone doesn't like the hot stuff, you don't have to put the pepper. The garlic will be just enough. Now I'm going to add the crushed garlic and pepper to the water, to the to the warm water. And um, I like doing it like this because I find that it makes the the flour, the dry ingredients, taste, gets into everything better. So I'm just going to throw everything in and then start my mixing process like that. Sometimes you may need more water. I just put a cup, but it tends to look like I might need another cup here. And then you just be mixing everything up like this. Um, I'm going to keep mixing the mixture here. I thought it was one cup of uh, what I needed, but it seems that I need a lot more. So it's like four cups overall that I have. So I'll keep adding. I want to add all. I'll keep adding as I go along to see what mixture I need. I just want to have it nice and soft. So it looks like I might need, let's see, maybe three cups. I'll let you know as I go along. Okay, four cups of warm water to, for this amount of flour that we have here. I usually make tons, like a big bowl, so. And you knead and knead until it gets really smooth and soft. Now for the for raisin, it needs to get like double or triple in size, and it depends on the the atmosphere in your kitchen. If it's really warm, it will raise faster. If not, it takes an hour or maybe a little bit more for that process. This is the way the mixture got it. It got it like this. See, it's it's not too too soft. Now I'm gonna put some the oil that I had there on the top of it. And You don't have to use all the oil if you don't, then you just use a tiny bit of it and leave back the rest here. And that's it, and just cover it with a foil or a saran or a cloth and wait until the double in size and then we're gonna start frying. Sure. This is how it would look when it double in size, the, the polori mixture. So it's all ready now for frying. But by all means, if you're busy, you can leave it as long as you want. Won't harm the doing anyway. You have that, a bowl with a little bit of water. The water is for dipping my fingers in. That may, it helps the dough to roll better in my fingers and not stick to the bowl or the, the mixture itself. A pot I have heated up here with oil. It's on medium to high heat and it's enough oil in there that the polori can deep fry. Also a bowl with some paper towels in for putting the polori in. Soak up some of the excess oil in. So to make the polori ball, what you do, you, you put the flour like this, roll it on it very gently, then we go to the pot. This, 
fold it like this against the foot and use your thumb to push it off push the mixture off your finger like that Usually it will float up to the top when it's cooked and it just turn on its own. You can give it a little help if you want. Like this. So I finished frying the polori. This is what it looked like. Really yummy. And uh, usually we have it with chutney. I made some tamarind and some mango this morning. So I'm gonna just try one and show you how we have it. It's like this, you dip it in there. That's the mango that I just had. Mmm, so yummy. Really, really good. And the tamarind. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Thanks for looking. Trinidad style glory.